All right, what is up? Okay, so uh, today we'll be going over a a uh, it's a sequence, the start of a fan film Star Wars movie for um, Star Wars. So we'll be taking a look at into that. I uh, will note that it is rendered using Blender, and then there are a few composite um, elements in there um, that I use Fusion with. Actually, I think I use Fusion for post processing on every single uh, every single clip. And uh, so there's no audio, like the audio is like not even there. Um, I did add the, some of the rough background music to it, uh, just so it's not completely boring. And then uh, I'll be going through and I'll be adding notes and we'll see uh, what exactly I did. And we'll talk about that. And so let's go ahead and jump right into that. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, watch it first, and then I'll go through and explain what I did. You'll see the uh, pluses and minuses of uh, rendering in Blender slash uh, Eevee. So let's go ahead and watch that clip. Okay, cool. All right, so let's jump right on into this. So obviously the audio is terrible. I wanted to keep it somewhat uh, not so boring. So, okay, so we open up. We have the Star Wars fan film, uh, just regular uh, text element in DaVinci Resolve. That's where I rendered this. And then we pull forward, then we have the logo reveal. I thought I rendered this in um, Fusion, but I actually did this in Blender. So I guess all this was Blender, uh, <laughs> rendered in Blender. And then we pull forward, uh, again, text element, and then we have the outer rim. Uh, so I had to put this in 3D space in Fusion in order to get the look that I wanted. Um, still didn't quite get it, just because if you uh, zoom out, you'll notice that the uh, on a low resolution screen that the uh, edges right there will start flickering and it's kind of annoying. I was originally going to have some text come up in here, and, and then like every Star Wars movie, you have the uh, logo or whatever, the title, text, and then it pans down and a spaceship flies. And then you get into it. And let's see here. So we pan down. Uh, this spaceship right here was, I believe it's called the Recusant, and I downloaded it on Sketchfab. And totally awesome. And But I rendered these separately. So this shot right here of the planet, I learned how to make it on Blender Guru. Uh, rendered in cycles and then I had this these light maps were from uh, uh, what's called NASA and I just duplicated it put it on itself flipped it over just so it wasn't totally recognizable as the earth planet and one thing to notice uh, recognize when you're rendering something with a spaceship uh, I initially had a lot of lens flares but it looked like total garbage just because um, it's hard to do bright things on top of a bright planet and then, so right here, uh, we have a hallway. What I did was I had this element right here, duplicated it, put it right here, and then combined these things, and, oh, crap. Looks like my dog is pooping on the carpet slash in her diaper. So give me two seconds here, guys. Hey, uh-uh, uh-uh. Nope. It's okay. There's no. Oh, dude. There's no one even there. Come on. Come on. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. Quit it. No. Okay. No. No. Here. Stop it. Stop it. There's no one there. There's no one even there. 
It's a few of wiener dogs. They'll bark at nothing. <coughs> so sweet, though. So sweet. Okay, so now they're walking. Um, he's walking. And boom. Okay, so if you notice, there's no holes in his cloak right here. We zoom forward. No, Ellie, Ellie no. And then uh, no holes right here. But then if we move forward, keep going. Um, so there, if you do a good job on the subject, it's really you can really like half-ass the edges right here, um, and it still have people it still look pretty believable. Um, as long as you got your subject good. Now I'm not even saying that I have my subject good, but he's 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 somewhat decent um, compared to the rest of it. If you look right here, we have these mesh uh, these metal mesh things. Like this thing's not even lined up right. Um, and then, uh, some things to point out right here real quick, uh, his like skirt, tunic, whatever thing is like shiny. It's like plastic. And if you look at his hand, it's like, what on earth? So what uh, I did was I put, I uploaded him to, um, oh, right. We have a little puppy, a little puppy dog. So cute to see. And if, okay. So just some funny things to point out on here. His blanket is totally covering his face right here. Okay. And those, pu those puppies are funny. Okay. Uh, anyway, so his hands look ridiculous. He's uploaded to Mixamo. And uh, that's where uh, that's where we got these animations from. Uh, his skin looks great. His, his name is Mall Killer. Download him on Turbo Squid and Sketchfab for free. Um, looks really good. Whoever modeled them, great job. Now, one uh, downside of Eevee is if you have a mesh, and uh, that's a light, um, you won't actually see the lights working until it's in the view of the camera, and then you see it reflecting, um, but it's still not even accurate. This whole area should be glowing uh, green, um, but it doesn't do that. Um, okay, so uh, again, this, this thing looks like a total blanket draped over him. That's one thing my sister pointed out. He's like, it looks kind of looks kind of weird. Um, and so, okay, so right here, what we see we have a bouncy cloak, but we have these giant holes in it. And so I had to delete all sorts of vertices and stuff on this cloak thing uh, just to make it even somewhat decent um, for that front area. And so what we're seeing here is, uh, yeah, I had to add a bunch of weights on his um, on his cloak just so it would make the thing a little stiff just because I couldn't figure out the cloth simulation for the life of me. And before, actually, I will stop it right here because here's another thing with Eevee that isn't always the best. Um, for the most part, uh, you get the motion capture, motion capture, the motion blur. Looks pretty decent. Oh, come on. Just go to the one frame. It's like it's one frame. Oh, here we go. Um, this motion, the motion blur is actually pretty good. Pretty decent. Um, but you got these weird things on the edges where it's, uh, you can tell it's like a cheated blur. Then we have an image that's overlapping itself. So a lot of the shading kind of goes out the window, and the blur goes out the window as well. So just note that. Um, this ball was composited on uh, Infusion. It's a little bit sharp for this image. But, uh, yeah, it's Fusion. And then, let's see here, he kneels down right here. Uh, and his cape looks kind of, <laughs> it has a mind of its own. Um, which is okay. I mean... It's kind of cool. It adds to the effect, but his cape looks ridiculous with these uh, jagged edges. It needs to look much more realistic than that. Um, it's like low poly. Uh, and so the ball goes out. Uh, again, composite infusion added a 2D displacement. So you get kind of like these waves almost of energy that come off. Um, if I can just back it up a little bit. Yeah, so if you look at those edges, it's like wavy. Add a camera shake. Zoom out, boom. This shot is actually kind of cool. Fairly easy to do. Um, if you do note it, <laughs> um, his forearm actually isn't even touching his knee. Uh, something to keep. It's kind of it's kind of funny. But no, Jesse, no, no, no. And uh, no, Jesse, here, quit it, quit it. It's just a. It's like a kid riding his bike in the backyard. <clears throat> Anyways. So there's that. So the initial ideal idea of this was I was gonna have Darth Sidious uh, be a hologram in here, but then I was like, how am I even gonna like animate his mouth to make it look realistic? Because that's what I'm, I'm trying to go for ultimate realism, and it's really hard to achieve that 
in uh, EV slash Blender when you're doing animations. Uh, I believe it's an issue with the lights, um, but you can do you can half-ass things like this in Fusion, and it still comes out looking photorealistic. So that's why I love rendering things in Fusion versus Blender and EV. I try to do as much rendering in Fusion, but some stuff you just have to do in. Oh hi, how are you? Um, you just have to do in um, Blender. Um, okay, so that's looking good. So he's going to talk to Darth Sidious, but I said it turned into like this ball thing that would uh, enlarge, and then you just hear the voice of Darth Sidious, and so it goes small and then big. So you, so I was going to uh, rotoscope him out by using Runway. Uh, it's like an AI thing online, um, free to use, totally awesome, and it's mixed rotoscoping instead of taking like a day to rotoscope something, you can rotoscope something and have it look really good in like five minutes. It is amazing. Uh, so go check that out. Okay. And so it was just, it was just going to be Darth Sidious in here talking. Okay. So that is it for this video. I hope that inspired you, uh, help inform you uh, on things to expect when using Eevee and Blender. Um, so uh, go out and create something exciting. If you want to do pick up from this uh, the sequence, feel free to just message me and uh, I'll just send over all the files to you if you want to pick it up and make your own fan film. Um, so just let me know. I uh, hope you like this video. I will uh, see you in the next video. So thanks guys.